It's Plymouth Arts Weekend 2016 and I'm at the Guildhall in Devonport. So you're part of Plymouth Arts Weekend? <laughs> yes. And what's yeah. your name? My name's Kevin Toll. I'm part of the Flameworks exhibition, the theme of which is, is chrysalis, yeah. and that incorporates the idea of metamorphosis. And the piece I'm working on is a final piece from a year-long project, which was to record one tree with drawings of one A1 drawing per week. Yes. And this piece is the final culmination. The project ran from August 2015 until September the 1st, 2016. Um, on one of the drawings, I also took a series of photographs and these go together to make this long. And I wanted to, to see how the marks that I was making in the A1 size drawings yeah. changed as I had to convey information on a much bigger scale. Uh -huh. So the drawing is really about how everything changes in terms of its scale. Um, and the idea of metamorphosis in chrysalis comes about from the change which happens from a blank sheet of paper into a finished drawing and the change that occurs between scale, a scale which happens, say, in a sketchbook, to an A1 piece, to a drawing which is 19 foot long. So that's about it. And the idea was to do it through the weekend, so to work on the drawing. So to start with a blank sheet of paper and then to end up, hopefully, with a finished drawing. It's going to be a push to actually finish it as a finished drawing. But there's enough information down here now so people can get an idea of what's going on. And so all your work's based around nature, is it? My work is... Well, I should explain that. I'm pretty much of a trad person, I suppose, really. Um, I haven't gone to art school formally. I don't have a BA. The formal education in art that I had was actually doing a two-year ceramics course. Yes. But uh, I even ran out of time on that. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, I ran out of money. Yes. Um, Easy to do when you're doing art. But I've, I've been drawing and painting ever since I was probably about four. Yeah. So I've So it's in the blood. Is it in the family, family as well? You've got other family, no. family members? No. No, I come from this area originally. My family comes from this area. My mother was was born and brought up literally about 100 yards down the road from here. That's in Devonport, yeah. near the Guildhall. Yeah. yeah, in Kerr Street. My grandfather ran a bakery in Duke Street behind the Guildhall. And that bakery ran for five generations. And my parents were married in the church just up the road in St Auburn Church. So it's a bit like coming home in a way for me. I yeah. really like working here and being in this space and showing my work here in that way in Devonport. So it's, it's quite become nice. quite peaceful now as well, isn't it? It is. It's really, it's really good. I mean, the nature of Devonport is changing all the time. Yeah. But it's, it's not probably the most cosmopolitan. The it's Sorry. It's not forming itself the way it's constantly evolving. Yeah, that's right. It is. It's changing all the time. You can see the way that the housing stock is changing. That changes people's perceptions of their own area. And that started when Kerr Street was, was rebuilt. Yeah. And that was the first development, redevelopment of, of Devonport. And that pulled everybody from the community in together to ask for their ideas on what they wanted yeah. to make their environment a better environment for them to live in. So there is a changing process happening throughout Devonport, which is very important. Yes. And very important for the people here, I think. 
Well, and for Plymouth people as well. And for Plymouth and people for as well. People. The way that the city is changing is really important. The very, way that very, things very like the Plymouth plan is going to be interacted. Mm -hmm. and it's got, there are so many things involved in that anyway. So have you been away from Plymouth any part of Yes, life? yeah. I, I lived in Glasgow for 20 years. Yes. I've lived in Bristol and London quite a lot as well. Wow. But the big two places for me are probably well, down here where I come from and Glasgow, which I have a real affinity for. I love the place. Yes. Well, the thing about Plymouth is geographically you've got everything in such a small area. It's very, very tight, you know, from uh, from the moors to the sea and to the forests and the environment around the city plays a, a really crucial impact yes. on the way that the city develops and the way that Plymouthians are yeah. the way that there's such a close tie to the sea and obviously then to the navy in that sense and the merchant the navy yeah. as well and then the moor is so close and that plays a big influence and then the whole of the coastal region, both sides, into Cornwall and into the Southampton and into South Devon. It's really important for people. It's so easy to get out of the city yeah. and to be in really good, really pleasant environments uh, within 10 minutes. Yeah. So you're making a living from your work? <laughs> no, I'm living on savings. I was made redundant from the oil business I'm last year. I'm living on savings as well. <laughs> Pardon? I'm, I'm living, living I'm on savings. savings as well. I think we all do in a way, you know. Yeah. I think the only, reason, the only way you can survive as a, yeah. as a practicing artist is to have some kind of external means of support in that way. Yeah. I think most people do. Yeah. Well, I haven't misled you with this video, and I'm not Forster, a no, media Forster. Not at all. Uh, I'm just coming on spec, like I do with all my work and all, all the people I uh, talk to. Yeah. It's nice to see your work anyway. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Uh, I hope you have a good time. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. I'm very good um, at being recorded, no, so Louise. What's your name? Louise. 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 Are you from Plymouth? Yes. And this is your artwork? Yes. So when did you do this? Uh, recently. I like the detail, the detail in it. Uh, the, with the mixture actually, the, uh, the silhouette and the, the, the detail on the dog's very good. Have you been into art very long? I've been, I studied at university for three years. Yeah, which university did you go to? Uh, university of Plymouth. And what was that like? It was quite good. Uh -huh. It was really good. Are you, are you from Plymouth? Uh, no, I'm originally from Cornwall. From Paul. Cornwall. Cornwall, sorry. And do you like Plymouth? Yeah, it's great, yeah. So you live in Plymouth now, do you? Yeah, yeah. So how long have you been doing art? Um, God, um, possibly about 10 years, maybe. Yeah. I've been doing it professionally for about a year or so. Oh, that's good. So, so where do you work at your work? Uh, online, mainly. Yes. Uh, what's your website? Uh, www.louise-raby. Yeah. Dash art dot com. <laughs> nice one. Well, what, can you tell me a bit about Flameworks? What's Flameworks? Uh, Flameworks is a creative arts facility based in Devonport. Yes. Uh, we lease affordable studios out to uh, local artists and makers. Uh, we have uh, blacksmithing and forging facilities, yeah. uh, ceramic facilities, glass facilities. Uh, we have a membership. Um, Program so people can sign up for associate membership to lease out facilities as well, and um, as well as receive a lot of. And how long, how long have you been involved with that? Uh, I've been there for two years. And how many members have you got? Oh, um, I believe about, about 70, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, I haven't misled you in any way on this video at all, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not a media forster either. Okay. <laughs> so take care anyway, thanks very much. <laughs>
hear about it through the arts organisations and emails and Facebook and a variety of other ways we keep in touch, really. Yeah, and you're a supply teacher. I tend to do supply teaching, yes. So do you teach arts as well? Uh, sometimes, yeah. So what do you think of the sense of uh, So far, I think it's just... Yeah, good photography and the cross-section of arts in here as well. Yeah, I'm just going to have a real good look around. Right, thanks very much. Hello, what's your name? Antonia. Uh, first of all, my name is Chris McGill. I'm an independent photographer and filmmaker. And I'm not coming in anywhere at all. I'm, uh, I'm doing this as, as an independent thing. Yep. Uh, because I've got some on my YouTube account telling me that I'm forced to go around. <laughs> so, uh, you're, the guild hall is definitely. Yes, no, I think it's amazing actually. This is probably the best venue I've been to so far. I haven't done them all, but. I really love the work here. There's a lot across the city, actually. Yes. I've been there. Yes, I've been there. Have you been to Yes, I have. Yes, there are, actually. Yes, indeed. And there's a street party on in Union Street, so I'm hoping, the fingers crossed, for the weather. Yeah. So where are you from? Um, Stonehouse. Stonehouse, not too far away. No, I'm cycled. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. so uh, um, what, what's your interest in art? Um, well, I work in the arts, and uh, I've always, always loved art. What areas of art do you work in? Um, I don't really work in art because I'm working in education, right, basically, okay, so and, and outreach and community. No, I don't teach. I'm a teacher, but I don't teach. Is that a sort of therapeutic? No, outreach. So that's with primary schools, right, so secondary schools, etc. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Cause all I wanna do now is hold your short hands. And when I'm alone now, you're part of my plans. Cause all I ever wanted was you. to the artists at the Guildhall in Devonport. Music on this video is with great thanks by Chris Oxland. You can Facebook him for gigs in Plymouth. This has been a Chris Mafia Media Production 2016. You can find me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com. Help me, sponsor me at paypal, Christopher Summerfield at gmail.com. It's a lifestyle thing. Be who you want to be.